The nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Thus spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. Hey, you're listening to KWN 605, and it's now time for the Weather Flash with Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Peter. My advice for today is dress very warmly before setting foot outside. It was extremely cold last night, and in some places the snow has turned into sheets of... Parents, Marcus and me, before the accident. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway.
My wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about that. This is Lucas Kane. I'm not here right now, so please leave a message. Hello, Lucas. It's Marcus. I'm calling because tomorrow is the 10th anniversary of the accident, and I thought, well, maybe you might want to go together this time. Anyway, give me a call. Goodbye. New York Police. Please open the door. These images in my head... I must be losing my mind. to my apartment. I'll grab them when I'm ready to leave. After what happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. New York police, please open the door. Police, they know, they, they've come to arrest me. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open his door immediately. If you do not open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. Your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down.
I I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you, I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow! When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. Several times with a state. Scared several times with a state. 
yesterday at 7.30 p.m. This morning at 7.52 a.m. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a local restaurant. The killer is a man in his 30s of average height with brown hair. Police are already searching for the man and will be releasing a composite sketch in the next few days. I've got this really bad habit for a cop. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. I'm exhausted. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep all night. Something
something's bothering me about this murder, but I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. Hi, Carla. How you doing today? Hi, Doug. Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not that I know of. So, ready for that big retirement? Eh, working on it. to the basement. I have no business down there right now. Tyler is still not here. I'd better try to give him a ring. Hello, Inspector. Hi, Frank. Hey, Carla. Sleep well? Sleep's a waste of time. I'll have plenty of time to sleep when I'm dead. That's our Carla. Hey, Carla. Can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he owes me? I've been waiting six months for it now. Can't help you there, Jeffrey. Talk to him about it. He's been avoiding me like the plague. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. Nobody here. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. Oh, wait, Carla. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay, I'll be at my desk all morning. Tyler hates it when anyone touches his stuff. Tyler still hasn't gotten rid of this basketball. Funny, I thought I'd been pretty clear.
like it's all happened before. Kirsten, what's that supposed to mean? Classified file. So, it's a name associated with a case. Too bad. I would have liked to find out more. Yeah? Know what time it is? Oh, shit. Get a move on. The waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. I'm on my way. Thank you. 